stress and anxiety. It can smack you in the head when you least expect it. It can creep up on you. And before you realise what has happened, your skin tingles, your heart is racing, your breathing shallow, and you're ready to lash out at your nearest and dearest. For minor offence. In previous videos, I've explained what happens in your brain and the different types of stress. Now let's look at the five areas in your life that are affected by stress. The more we know about our own peculiar stress response, the more readily we can deal with it effectively. My name is Dr. John Kenworthy, and for the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you how stress impacts the five key areas of life. Your journey, how you do things, how you are being in your life, how you face difficulties and how you respond to opportunities. The first area of life we'll look at is the journey. Your journey is your path through life. It's your story, your memories, your history, your beliefs, values, purpose and calling. Stress in this area is often caused by the lack of something or an imbalance in our journey in life and the choices we have made. For many, it is a lack of a defined purpose, quaintly referred to as a midlife crisis, where we suddenly start asking ourselves, what's the point of all of this? Stress here can also be tied to our memories and history of fear and worry in the triggered. The second area of our life we call doing. This is the sphere of action and reaction, the practical aspect. Stress and anxiety in this area can be caused through a feeling of overwhelm or overload because we believe we cannot do what is necessary. Or perhaps we have simply taken on too much. Perhaps we feel that the risk of action is too great and the alarm bells ring but perhaps our goal is too stretchy. The third area we call just be. This is our emotional being and the way we flow through life. Stress in this area may be caused because we hold on to grievances and bitterness about others and about ourselves. Perhaps you are being asked to compromise your values or authenticity in order to succeed in this fallen world. Our chosen attitude towards life has a major impact on how we respond to stressful situations. The fourth area is difficulties. This is the challenging aspects of our lives. As we journey through life, we all face difficulties and challenges. How we approach these can determine the stress and anxiety we feel as we choose how we avoid or overcome our challenges. We may feel guilty about our failure or perhaps we just hold our own pity party as we make excuses for being stuck. The fifth area we examine is opportunities. How we go about enriching our daily lives, how open and ready we are to things that happen around us can have a significant impact on our levels of stress and anxiety. Perhaps a different point of view will enable us to align ourselves and innovate a way to succeed. Our stress can be rooted in one or all areas. The way these life areas interplay in our thinking and emotions enable us to choose to cope with or overcome the stresses that life does and will continue to present. As we dig a little deeper into our personal response to life happening, we learn what triggers our own stress and anxiety. And once we know the enemy, we can prepare for every battle in our war on stress and anxiety. 